Hello everyone, today let's try to make our retro arc work in the Nintendo Switch that is running in version 21.1.0. Alright guys, so before we start to update the retro arc in our Nintendo Switch, I would like to show you that my version in my Nintendo Switch is version 21.1.0. And let's go to the album menu and look for RetroArch. And as you can see here, guys, RetroArch is in red text, meaning it's not compatible with the current version that I have here in my Nintendo Switch. So when I try to open the RetroArch app, an error code will go out. And it will tell me that it's not compatible with the latest firmware. So we are going to update this. So let's go. So first, let's go and get the latest file for RetroArch that is compatible for version 21.1.0. Now let's go to the RetroArch site and get the latest file. Now when you're in the RetroArch site, just look for the latest file that is located in the most lower part of the list. So just download that. And after downloading, let's check on the RetroArch file that we downloaded and extract it by WinRAR or 7-Zip. Alright guys, so these are the files we need. So I will just put the files here in my main screen and let's remove the SD card from the switch and connect it to our PC. Now the SD card is now connected to the PC and as you can see guys, this is the root of the SD card and we are gonna paste the files here but a matter of caution, adding a new file will erase the files including your save files. So remove your save files from your RetroArch folder before pasting the new files in the SD card. So let's go to the new RetroArch folder, open the folder and copy the files. You can drag and paste it in the SD card. Now, if it asks to replace a file, just choose replace and it will continue to transfer the files. Now, after transferring the files, let's remove the SD card and return it to the Nintendo Switch. Now, let's go to the album menu and let's check on RetroArch. And as you can see, It's no longer in red text, meaning it's now compatible with version 21.1.0. Now let's test if the RetroArch will work. So in order to access the RetroArch, just press and hold R button and choose any game and press A. Just wait a little bit and it will go to the album menu. And from here, look for RetroArch and open it. Now that RetroArch is open and it didn't do any errors, it can now play PlayStation 1 games, Game Boy games, Sega games, and more. So let's test if it can play PS1 games. So as you can see, it can run the games from PS1. So that's how we can update our retro arc that is running in version 21.1. So that's about it for our video for today. Thanks so much guys for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.